Hi Taurus, welcome to your November 2021 reading. Um, first things first, somebody had mentioned about my deep heavy breaths that I did in the last reading. And although it was a pretty heavy reading, um, I also recognized that one of the symptoms of what I have is not being able to take in air completely. So, and um, in this reading, I'm at an elevation that's a really pretty high elevation. So if I'm having to take deep breaths during this reading, <laughs> I apologize for that. I'm not trying to like make it heavy or anything like that right off the bat. I'm not saying that your energy is heavy at all. Um, I think that this month, astrology wise, you guys will, okay, so you'll have, it's Scorpio season, it's spooky season. You have the sun, you have Mercury, and you have Mars all in Scorpio, which is in your seventh house. And <clears throat> seventh house is of relationships. It's not just romantic relationships, though. It's any kind of long-term partnership, family, adult children, coworkers, you know, if you have, like, or close friendships, stuff like that. Um, and you'll also have Venus moving into your ninth house. And Venus will be in your ninth house for the next four months. So what does that all mean? Mercury and Mars are joining up in the second week of November and squaring Saturn. And so there's really, there's this power struggle, sort of explosive kind of energy happening the first half of November. And because it's kind of, it's affecting your seventh house, um, but we also have uh, your 10th house affected with Saturn, squaring Saturn in Aquarius. And there's, there's this need for you to learn how to create boundaries. So first of all, creating boundaries with yourself is always, because the seventh house is how people reflect back to us who we are and we attract people from our seventh house qualities and in in the, that can come with a lot of projections sometimes from you and from the outside coming in and with venus in your ninth house you're sort of expanding your ideas and values and it looks different than it used to. You don't see the world in the same way that you used to. And your values for everything that's happening in your life during this time, um, that's all gonna start shifting. And you're, you know, the, the ninth house really talks about the belief, our belief systems and expanding our knowledge and opening, you know, looking at the bigger picture and not something so boxed in. And I think that your value system when it comes to love, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to anything, that is that's changing because your mind is opening up to so much more. And that's good. It's not easy, but it's really good. So, Let's take a look at your cards. You have been planting some seeds. Whether or not you realize it, you have manifested something. If you are aware that you've manifested something, you have some oh, you have some questions. You have some questions surrounding, because I think that what you're waiting for, you're you're sort of it's sort of like a um, really being patient for it to show up. You're wondering if there's anything else left for you to do. One more card. And then we will, nice, nice. 
Seven of Pentacles was the first card. Then we have the Two of Pentacles. And then we have the Ace of Cups on the top row. On the bottom row, we have the World. And then we have the Nine of Cups. And this was the finale that I got all excited about, the Hierophant. So you showing up for your reading is always welcome. Always, always. I feel like the vacillating, the, the trying to, you're just sitting here patiently waiting for something to show up for you. And the twiddling your thumbs and going back and forth and trying to figure out what the universal signs are, when in reality, the biggest thing is all you have to do is show yourself a little bit of love. You have to pay attention to what your higher self is telling you. You have to allow yourself to see yourself as a child and say, what is it that you want to do, right? Ace of Cups. You have to fill up your cup first before it becomes anybody else's. Before any of that becomes anybody else's. There's definitely a cycle that you're coming to the end you're coming, you're ending, you're closing out a cycle. But what is keeping you stagnant is this vacillating back and forth. And the side and just on the other side of it is what you want. But there are some things that you have to admit to yourself first. One of those things that you have to admit to yourself is that You've been waiting for the universe to show up for you when the universe has been there the entire time. Waiting for you to show up for yourself. Whole time. There aren't even any more signs that you need. Every time you decide to not show up for yourself, that's one more time that you have to repeat that same lesson. And that sucks. And like, right? Nope. Not today. Not doing that lesson again. That's not the thing. It's great to plant seeds. It's really great to manifest. But instead of sitting here and vacillating and waiting for whatever sign that you're waiting for while this seed is building and building and building, I really want you to turn your focus inward. 100%, I want you to turn your focus inward and I want you to figure out exactly what it is that you want in November because it is yours. What you want is going to be yours. <clears throat> There's a lot of cups back there. Be careful not to overindulge, to distract yourself from completing the cycle. Because there's, there are times when we get opportunities to complete cycles and then there are times that we get these opportunities to complete the cycles and then we don't do it and then we don't get that opportunity again for like a year. I remember like 2017 and 2018, were the same year for me, except for my environment looked different. But I learned, I, I didn't learn shit. I, <laughs> I had to repeat so many lessons in, 2007, in 2018 that I didn't learn in 2017. And when I finally learned it, it things started to change. And I, but I had to learn it. I had to be the one that did it. And that's where you are. There is nobody else that can end this cycle and get you over that hill to get exactly what it is that you want, nobody else can do that for you but you. Not even the universe, because the universe has already taken care of all of the details. 
The only thing that's left is you. Right? And you're ready. Piece of cake. We're going to talk about that a little bit more in the extended. Uh, you can get that by becoming a member or going to Vimeo. All of that information is in the description box. I love you guys. I can't wait to do the extended for you. We'll see you later. Bye.